Uh, can you repeat that, Claudio? No, this is this is a question for Claudio. Claudio, are you online? Okay, we we are online. Uh, okay, good. Uh, no, I know you you probably already have done this. Um, uh, you, um, I guess your antenna system and everything is uh, is checked the way it's supposed to be. Yes, I still. Uh, I, we have uh, tested all the station uh, yesterday for uh, tracking ISS. Uh, today we have not a flip mode, so a pass, normal pass, uh, and uh, time check. I can say, say to you we have uh, 14 minutes and 25 seconds from now, the acquisition of signal. So all is ready for the contact. Yes, excellent. Yeah, I, sh I show the same thing on my computer. I can see the ISS over South a South America right now. It's about to leave the South American coast. Uh, excellent. Um, and you do have the correct uh, frequency as well, correct? Claudio, yes. you have the correct frequency for the ISS as well, correct? Yes, yes, uh, we have the correct frequency, the primary and backup for today. Okay, good. All right. Well, uh, I have uh, about three minutes and 40 seconds to go. I'm, I'm going to start the uh, introduction a few minutes early. I always do that just in case we run into some problems because it buys me some more time. Um, so in about three minutes and 34 seconds, I will start the, uh, the introduction of this time. Okay, so, uh, Sandeep, uh, as you probably heard, in uh, three minutes and 20 seconds, I will start the official uh, moderator presentation. And uh, as I told you, I'm doing this from uh, close to Sweden, close to Stockholm, Stockholm, the capital city of Sweden. And uh, uh, as we go on, um, you will... Uh, uh, I will once once I've done the presentation, then I will pass the microphone over to you, and then uh, I'll take it back, and then I will pass the microphone to Claudio, and then Claudio will be doing the contact itself, and then he will be directing everything until the end. So we have about uh, two minutes and thirty nine seconds before I start the introduction, and. Um, uh, the astronaut uh, you will be talking with today is uh, Ricky Arnold, K uh, Kilo Echo 5 Delta Alpha uniform. And Ricky Arnold has been in space several times. He's been uh, uh, to the International Space Station with the uh, with the space shuttle. He's uh, walked outside the uh, he walked in space. Uh, outside on the International Space Station. And the most, for me, a very interesting fact is that he is also a teacher. He is, uh, and he teaches uh, in college. And um, uh, from what I read, he is a very interesting um, uh, subject which he teaches as he is a scientist. So it he, uh, he is a very interesting and knowledgeable man, of course. And so Ricky Arnold is the astronaut he will be talking to today. Uh, we have about uh, 1 minute 39 seconds before I start the introduction and 11 minutes and 42 seconds before the uh, International Space Station reaches Claudio. Right now uh, the International Space Station has uh, left the uh, South, uh, South American continent and it's uh, flying towards uh, the coast of Africa and uh, pretty soon it's uh, going to be reaching Claudio. I can see it's, uh, uh, it's going quite fast there. Right now it's at an altitude of, uh, let me see here. Um, well, actually it's quite high up, but I cannot see it right now. I think it's about 400 kilometers. Oh, there we go, 218 uh, nautical miles. So that's uh, pretty close to 400 kilometers. Okay, I'm uh, going to ask Bridget. Bridget, if you can start the recording, please. Thank you. One moment. All right, I just want to let everyone know the recordings have begun. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, Sandeep, just so you know, uh, at the end, when the contact is nearly over, uh, you will get the chance to applaud 
and uh, and so so if we can have everybody applaud in the audience just to make sure that uh, that we can make it heard into space. So everybody applaud now. Go ahead. Okay, you want to say everybody give a big applause uh, uh, for the successful concert, uh, which is clapping over. Yes, I, w I just want to see how it sounds. So if we can practice it once now. Okay, just QRX, I'll ask, uh, I'll just make a practice and ask them to do that. Go ahead. So after, after this contest, when you talk to that, you must bring the contest that's not possible as well. You must know, thank him. And I will be as long as you need by clapping. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, all the Kata for this wonderful program. And you will just practice that. If you come down here and you give that, then you will be able to call my one. Thank you, Claudio. Thank you, Ricky. We're all very grateful for the exposure that we have given. Yeah, very good. good. That sounded that sounded very good. All right. Good, Sandeep. Uh, I'm going to start now. Yeah, sure. Sandeep. I'm watching. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting now. Good. All right. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. This is Eskil van Loosrecht, SM5 SRR, located in Knista, Sweden, and I am your moderator for today. Through the help of amateur radio volunteers and the crew on the ISS, we soon hope to establish radio contact with the International Space Station as it flies more than 400 kilometers above the Earth. This is all accomplished with ARIS, amateur radio on the International Space Station. The ISS is currently flying west of the African coast of Senegal, whizzing along at nearly 28,000 kilometers per hour, which is 7.8 kilometers per second. The contact for today will be performed using the ARIS Telebridge Network, a worldwide network of amateur radio ground stations that enable students to contact the ISS. ARIS is a consortium of volunteers from nine nations that develop and operate the amateur radio equipment on board the International Space Station. Those that support ARIS are the American Radio Relay League, the worldwide AMSAT Amateur Radio Satellite Corporations, the Canadian Space Agency, the European Space Agency, the Japanese Space Agency, Roscosmos, the Russian Space Agency, and NASA. The amateur radio ground station that will establish contact with the ISS today is IK1SLD, located in Monferrato, Italy, and operated by Claudio Ariotti. Thank you for helping us today, Claudio. The person on board the ISS who will be answering the, your questions today is astronaut Ricky Arnold, KE5DAU. We have about uh, six minutes till contact time. Our link up today will be with the students of Vidya Mandir Inter College in Meerut, India. Now let's check in with the student and Sandeep. Sandeep, please tell us a little about the school and the students taking part today. Go ahead, Sandeep. Uh, can you repeat the question again, over? Well, tell me a little about the school and how many students are taking part today. Just stand by. Just stand by. Uh, I'll hand over the microphone to the teacher in charge, the principal of the school, uh, who will yes. talk to Go you. Ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Ranjana, principal of Vidya Mandir. Welcome to you all on behalf of Vidya Mandir entire facility. I'm very... It's audible? Yes. I'm very grateful for giving me the opportunity. Vidya Mandir Ente School was established in 1988 
fulfilling the aspiration of Mrs. Sakuntala Pashe, a dedicated woman who attained the cause of education throughout her life. The school caters to the needs of over 1,000 students from the classes 9 to 12. It is a co-educational school recognized by the state government and approved for both the medium. The school provides ample facilities, including well-stocked libraries, playground, etc. The school organizes a wide range of co-curricular activities: music, dance, drama, art, and craft, science exhibition, yoga, seminar, debate. Such free services like healthcare are also available for the student staff. School lays emphasis on the holistic education, discipline, character building. Life skill are giving the highest priority. Thank you. Over. Thank you very much, uh, and thank you very much for the beautiful introduction. Uh, it was uh, very, very nice. Now let's go to Claudio Ariotti, Italy Kilo One, Sierra Lima Delta in Monferrato, Italy. Claudio, before the contact begins, please tell us about your station, where you are, and how you will handle the conversation today. Go ahead, Claudio. Okay, thank you. Ask it for uh, your presentation. Uh, briefly, our station. Telebri station is located in Casale Monferrato, the airport uh, in northwest uh, of Italy, uh, 100 kilometers from uh, Turin and Milan in northwest of Italy. And uh, when T minus 30 second, uh, I'll go to call the astronaut today, Ricky Arnold, aboard the ISS, uh, operating today with uh, call sign Oscar Romeo 4 India Sierra Sierra. And uh, as uh, soon as signal will be loud and clear, Uh, I will invite the student to start with first question. For the student, and uh, as you said, uh, as you said, uh, uh, please don't forget to say over because this is a very important thing to coordinate the conversation between us uh, and the astronaut. So uh, now I see the International Space Station approaching to Italy, approaching to uh, Spain or in this moment. So we have uh, two minutes and uh, 45 seconds from now. So, microphone back to you, Eskil. Wonderful, uh, Claudio. Well, uh, that sounds really great. And uh, uh, yes, I can see the space station approaching uh, the uh, uh, Spain right now. And uh, it's, uh, it's going on real fast. So hopefully we will be able to make a very good contact. Well, we have about uh, two minutes to go before the space station comes over the horizon in Monferrato, Italy. Now remember everybody, what we are doing on the ISS is an experiment, so we can never tell the results, positive or negative, until the experiment is over. And students, don't forget to say over at the end of your question, very important. Well, the station will go to the shortly becoming rain, so Claudio, it's uh, all yours, and uh, you've got Claudio. Okay, yes, kill. <laughs> Thank you again. Yes, the uh, ISS is approaching to France at this moment, so we have uh, one minute and, and half uh, from now to the acquisition of signal. Uh, antenna system is pointed to the correct uh, uh, degrees to waiting for the acquisition. One minute. Forty second. Okay, ISS is approaching to the Alps in northwest of Italy. We have a twenty second to the AOS. 
So I'm calling in a few seconds. Okay, Oscar Ro Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra. This is India Kilo 1, Sugar Lima Delta, Telebridge Ground Station, calling for a scheduled Aris contact. Do you copy, Ricky, over? Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra. This is India Kilo 1, Sierra Lima Delta, Telebridge Ground Station, calling for a scheduled Aris contact. Uh, do you copy, Ricky, over? Sierra, how do you read over here? Okay, Oscar Romeo 4, ISS, uh, IK1, SLD. Good morning, Ricky. Your signal is loud and clear. Uh, many thanks. Today from Italy, we introduced the Vidya Mandir Inter College in India. Are you ready for first question? Ricky, over. Good morning. Welcome aboard the International Space Station. I am ready for the questions. Okay, go ahead, uh, Arun, in India. Go ahead with the first question. How many languages do you need to know to become an astronaut? Over. Um, to become an astronaut, you just in your native language, but when we fly on the International Space Station, there are two official languages, Russian and English. Over. Next question. My question is, which country has the same time as which country has the same time as the space station? We are on GMT, so uh, England, much of uh, Europe, and uh, parts of North, parts of Africa. Over. I want to ask you, sir, do you get the time to sleep in space? Over. Oh, we have to. We have scheduled uh, sleep time every night for seven, eight hours. Over. Sir, it's an honor to meet you. My question is, in space, do you feel hot or cold and why? Over. In the space station, the temperature is always the same and it's very comfortable. Um, outside the space station, we wear uh, uh, special space suits, which also work to maintain a constant temperature. So we pretty much feel the same uh, all the time. Over. Hello, Ricky, sir. I want to ask you, have you ever seen an alien or a UFO and then... Over. No, unfortunately not. That would make for an exciting day, but uh, we haven't. Over. Hello, sir. It's an honor to talk to you. Sir, sir, I want to ask you, this is your favorite planet in outer space. Well, as I'm sitting here talking to you, two of my friends are sitting here taking pictures of our beautiful Earth, so that would have to be my favorite planet. I'm also very interested in uh, the secrets Mars has to reveal. Over. No, not yet. All of our windows face toward Earth, and uh, we're only uh, you know, several hundred kilometers away from you. Over. Hello, sir. I want to ask a question, sir. Do you believe that extraterrestrial exists? Over. I, I think there is uh, the, the likelihood that there is some life forms, maybe in the solar system, other simple life forms, um, and uh, so probably out there in the universe. Uh, over. And my question? Uh, Claudio, can you copy me? Yes, uh, uh, go Sorry, ahead uh, with my question. question. Italy Kilo 1, Sierra Lima Delta, Victory, welcome to my computer. Claudio, there is no audio from your side, over. Okay, please uh, start with nine questions, okay? Start with nine questions. Go ahead with question number nine. Go ahead. Question number nine. Hello sir. Hello, sir. I want to ask you, 
How do you manage to eat food in space? We have a lot of food pre-flown for us, uh, so when it's here when we arrive, we get to pick a little bit of it, but most of it is a standard menu, and uh, then we just prepare. We either uh, warm it in a food warmer or uh, add hot water to it uh, to rehydrate it, and, uh, and then eat three meals a day, like on Earth. Over. Hello, sir. I want to ask you, what is your body reacting to Franklin Over. I think most of our reactions are the same. I think there are subtle changes that will occur to our body from being in space, and that's one of the reasons we're here is to understand that. Over. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. I want to ask you, what do you do on a typical day? Over. We have a 12-hour kind of work day that's scheduled for us in Houston. Um, uh, it includes two hours of exercise, time to eat, but uh, mostly it's uh, science and maintenance and repairs. Over. Hello, sir. I want to ask you, why don't you run out of oxygen on the International Space Station? Over. Um, for uh, for oxygen, uh, we uh, we have uh, oxygen that is flown. Uh, we can, we're also capable of generating small quantities of it, and obviously a closed uh, system where we are uh, uh, bringing all we need and don't need to fly more is what we're going to need as we head out into deep space. Over. That's one of the reasons we do science up here. The variable we can remove is the effects of gravity. So uh, we grow cells, we're growing crystals, we're growing plants, um, all in this uh, all in this uh, environment. To uh, because they do they do develop and grow differently, and we, uh, we we're looking at novel ways to improve life on Earth and to prepare ex exploration of the solar system. Over. My, I have a crewmate that is going to have a birthday this Friday, and yes, we will have a small party on the ISS this Friday. Over. Hello, sir. I want to ask you, what do you do for turning space? Over. Uh, Tanya, repeat, please, the question. Hello, sir. My question is, how difficult is it to react next to life or not after a long stay in space? Tension, uh, tension Ricky. Uh, Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra, Sierra, India Kilo 1, Sierra Lima Delta. Do you copy? Number one, Sierra Lima Delta. This is Oscar Romeo 4, ISS. Do you still read? Over. Okay, okay. Uh, question number 15, Tanya. Repeat, please, uh, your question, Tanya. Question, question number 15, number 15 again. Yes. Hi, sir. I want to ask you, what do you do for funny things? Watching Alex take pictures of the Earth. That's one of our big hobbies, is taking photographs. Over. Hello, sir. My question is, how difficult is it to readjust to a life after a long stay in space? Over. Do you have the next question? Over. Okay, Anand, repeat the question, Anand. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. My question is, how difficult is it to readjust to life on Earth after a long stay in space? Over in the gym and uh why i'll be able to tell you that here in another couple of months over hello sir i want to ask you how does the human body change in outer space over that's one of the things we're up here studying our fluid shifts throughout our body because gravity is not pulling it down um, and we need to understand how that works better before we head out to the solar system over 
neutral. I want to ask you, which planet looks best from space? Over. To me, the planet that looks best from space is Earth. Uh, it, we are very close to Earth. The other planets don't look much different from our perspective, and Earth is our home. It, it's amazingly beautiful. Over. Yes, QRX, QRX, Claudia QRX, maybe QRX, QRX, QRX. Uh, 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 Okay, we, we have a, a few seconds. Yes or not. Hello, sir, I want to ask you, what is your relationship like with the fellow restaurant? In school, over. Okay, start with uh, greetings from uh, from the school for uh, for Ricky, please uh, for the school. We have a few seconds to the loss. Okay. Everybody uh, applaud. Yeah, uh, Claudio, okay, I am offering the microphone uh, to the students uh, to thank you. Uh, this is Sandy with my telephone for thanking on behalf of. Uh, the students to you, Claudio, to Akil and to all uh, they are coordinating this event. So I would request the students to thank you. Please. Thank you, sir. And on behalf of all students in India, we are very grateful for this opportunity. And you have an amazing team at NASA. Thank you very much. Okay, Eskil, uh, Mike. Thank you. Thank you to the school. Microphone back to Eskil is the moderator, please. Congratulations to all of you students and teachers of uh, Vidya Mandir Inter College. You did get 19 questions answered by astronaut uh, Ricky Arnold. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have just shared a moment of history. Amateur radio station Italy Kilo One Sierra Lima Delta, operated by Claudio Ariotti, contacted astronaut Ricky Arnold, Kilo Echo 5 Delta Alpha uniform, aboard the International Space Station, who spoke with the students of Vidya Mandir Inter College in Merud, India. Sanjay, uh, excuse me, uh, Sandeep, do you have uh, anything more you would like to add? Go ahead. <laughs> 